All right, so this is going to be Aquarius Sun, Aquarius Moon, Inus Low, Aquarius Rising. I weekly general tarot reading April 20th to uh, April 26th, 2020. And in case uh, any of you guys is interested in a uh, personal reading with me, uh, checking out the description down below is going to give you a link to my website uh, from which you can purchase such. And as well there, uh, you're going to find a, a section of my uh, tarot classes, six weeks live tarot class that at the end uh, is going to sort you to do your own uh, personal readings with the Major Arcana in a Major Arcana only friendly spread. So uh, that being said, moving to the spread straight away of the week, the first one, which is the Six of Pentacles, marks the topic of your week, Aquarius, followed by the Nine of Wands, which stands for the um, energies feeding and supporting the topic, followed by the challenges uh, of the week, and that will be the Nine of Swords. Then the next one represents the gifts and the blessings that you are to enjoy throughout the week. That is to be the High Priestess. Followed by the impression that you're going to leave into the people around. That will be the impression of the star card. And the last one here, which represents the guidance that Tsar is offering, that will be the judgment. Okay, so, um, and this week it is highly likely, first of all, uh, many things are to fall into their appropriate place in the sense of that whatever it is. Um, going in an awkward way in a very unnatural development now throughout this week that development is going to be set back into its natural order and it's to its natural in its in its a unnatural way why well because those energies that we do have of the nine of wands are gonna provoke you or gonna make you to make the appropriate actions so that to happen now these actions are how can i say it they are very consciously based what i mean is that it is entirely based on your personal preference and it has nothing to do with chance with what has been meant to be done or with um with let's say the grace or the guess of the universe itself it is just something that you can reshuffle rearrange realign readopt or change if you will within your personal environment so you can stir the situation moving forward either career or either relationship wise even more than that those energies of the nine of wands uh, they will allow you to incorporate straight away your previous experience of a success into the current situations therefore um if you will reversing or traversing or i don't know how to say it you know or shifting the gears and uh, making a situations that are going out of control into a, a very very successful uh, successful endeavors but for such a transition you are to need to show patience and endurance and endurance with the nine of wands it is because usually in such kind of um, manifestation of the card there are um, there is a, a very it's not a very big chance, but let's say there is a quite of a wrong move that one need, than one that one can do, and therefore it's very important that one listen to the to the experience or take acknowledgement of their previous experience and very patiently structure a plan or strategy how to move forward, knowing that if they get it wrong. It's a very quickly approaching storm that it is coming on the horizon. But in any case, should you take the things carefully here throughout the throughout the week and consciously incorporate the necessary readaptations and the, the the conscious changes that you can do, that you do have the room to do, the space to do within your marriage, within your career as well. Now, to give you an example, those changes could be changed into the schedule. Uh, uh, how can I say it, Re, not restructuring, but more like a uh, re -innovating. for example, your home, you know, uh, a little bit uh, reshuffling your working place, for example, and so on and so forth. That will um, make the flow of the hierarchy as the Six of Pentacles points 
in its natural course and in its natural state, in its natural way. And uh, when the flow of the hierarchy goes in its natural way, everything happens the way it was a supposed to happen. Just like in the card, it doesn't matter if the beggar takes a change from the wealthy man, at the end of the day, the beggar, it's a beggar and the wealthy, it's a, a wealthy. So uh, what is the reason, however, the, um, the hierarchy to flow in its natural course? Because through hierarchy, problems are resolved. A hierarchy eventually, you know, reach a state where the problem no longer, uh, no longer exists. It, in other words, it upgrades. So that being said, should you do the necessary adaptations that you're pretty much going to know what they are going, what they need to be. Again, your experience is going to is going to talk to you. Then you can expect that within your career life, uh, you know, in the job that you're working or into the into the business that you're performing in, many issues that you are stressed about are stop going to simply exist because simply a, a resolution is going to be found. And as well with the Six of Pentacles in relationships, many arguments are to be muffled and many arguments as well are to be settled uh, in that way for a simple reason that at the end of the day through the reshufflement and through the uh, through the necessary and conscious changes uh, a resolution are to be found that is going to suit you and the partner or the suitor or the person of interest and the very least or kind of like above everything else is going to make both of you aware how you stand and where your true place is in the framework of the relationship itself. Moving next, we do have the challenges that you have to overcome here, Aquarius, and that is to be the uh, Nine of Swords. So the challenge, uh, Nine of Swords is a challenge, guys. Just remember that is all about the fear of the consequences. And um, uh, in this particular case, that is to be an imaginary, fallacious fear of what happens after you make those changes. Now, as we can see, the situation takes uh, says that after you make those changes, those conscious changes or readaptations, the situations that you are in takes their natural course of events. However, your fear is going to be that when you start doing those changes, something can go wrong. And that is the sense that you need to overcome, uh, understanding that at the end of the day, doing nothing also bears certain consequences. And in this particular case, it bears far greater negative consequences than um, actually trying to to fix the issue, whatever issue you are you are facing, career-wise or relationship-wise, or trying to improve the state whatever state you are facing at in career or in relationship. Um, Nine of uh, Swords is that particular card showing that uh, fear pretty much rots one's soul and fear is exactly the reason why people deprive themselves of being happy because they are afraid to ask. You know, they are afraid to ask, do you like me or not? They are afraid to ask, can I have the promotion or not? They are afraid to ask, can I have an increase in salary and so on and so forth? Because if you do not ask, the answer always is going to be no. Nobody is going to give it just, just like that, especially career-wise, right? Nobody tells you, you know, I will promote you. You have to earn it first and of course you got to ask for it. So the gifts and the blessings that you are to enjoy throughout the week, Aquarius, that is to be the gift and the blessing of the High Priestess. And the biggest gift that the High Priestess gives in a uh, material um, representation, or how can I say it, in a material manifestation, it is that things cannot go downwards. What I mean is that they can fluctuate upwards, kind of like with, a, with the uh, prosperity, but it doesn't go down, downwards in a deterioration. Uh, that is the material gift, the uh, ethereal or rather like the spiritual gift that the High Priestess gives you is uh, the um, the true guidance of the inner of the inner voice. Now that I'm explaining that into my classes, but the inner voice is very different from the intuition and the inner voice comes from a previous experience, the experience that you have forgotten about. OK, you just went through the situation you forgot about it and it is from that situation that this experience is to be evoked once again 
and it and pretty much it comes as a hunch you know this can happen that can't happen this thing happens because of something and that thing doesn't is not going to happen because of a something else so pretty much um, the gift for you is to have a, a, a acute understanding of how matter works of how your relationship works how your career works and what you need to do to improve it and what you need to do to deteriorate it in case you do want to because there are so, such kind of a situations where for example people want to just walk away from a relationship or from a job but they are tied in it there are some certain leverages that are holding them there and you pretty much know what to do and they, this is what is going to dictate what kind of a uh, changes you need to incorporate and once you do it as the reading said everything is gonna fall in its place where it belongs to so what is the impression that uh, you are making into the people around that is going to be the star card and uh, with the, the star card people are going to see you bursting with a hope what i mean is that they are to see you that right now you do have great plans for the future and you actually this time around according to them that is you may not necessarily be that way but according to them right now you are you pretty much know how you are going to reach your plans or how you are going to manifest your plans as well with the star card people however are going to see you that you do have quite of a high criteria quite of a high ideals and for some you may look like a daydreamer as well with uh, with the star card but what do they know i mean they have a little understanding of a what your inner voice and inner guidance is telling you that experience that you do have from the past which is dictating what you should do in order to end up with the upper hand or with the winning hand in your career situation or in a uh, your relationship situation but the very least people are going to be a bit envy on you because they will see that actually in front of you there is a quite of a bright and good future Will you be able to get a grip on it? Well, that depends uh, entirely on you. And how, as we said, that you have to make some conscious changes here throughout this week. Inquiries. The next card is going to be judgment. And with the judgment, we're pretty much going to be called upon. I don't know how to say it because judgment is the call of the uh, of uh, the, the call of faith it is the, mm, the the right circumstances happens under the right conditions and that is your cue and you have and it appears as a call of the universe and you have to answer the call and this uh, card pretty much points that those uh, readaptations you gotta do there is an exact moment an exact place where you have to make them and once you seize the opportunity and you do it you are to see that actually whatever uh, anticipations you had or whatever um, not dreams but rather like expectations for the development of your career and for the development of your relationships you had now you have a third options or third way of development which quite exceeds even the bravest expectations that you do had up until now and it is actually the mm, not the quality but the the criteria or the mean that uh, allows everything to fall on its place because the judgment it is actually the six of pentacles it is the little brother of the judgment here in that particular uh, in that particular case because the judgment i love to explain it that way that it is where when the shaft falls into the hub meaning that everything falls on its place if you do answer the call and on a more practical level judgment urges for a cooperation okay union reunion as well so if you do have that chance maybe you want to consider taking it because it does look like that this time around is going to work out so that being said Aquarius this was your weekly general tarot reading April 20th to April 26th 2020 hopefully you enjoyed it and you liked it and uh, once again if you're interested in a private reading with me checking out the description down below is going to give you a link to my website from which you can purchase such and if you're interested in to start, uh, uh, into, into start reading tarot cards, I'm offering a, an online live six-week tarot classes, in which I'm going to teach you how to use Major Arcana in uh, 
any kind of situations or any kind of questions. And uh, at the end of the course, you are going to be set to do your own readings, maybe only with the major arcana, but they are not less accurate as with the O78 and in a, dedica in a dedicated spread, which is a major arcana only friendly. So hopefully you're going to stay safe now and uh, see you around. Until then, bye.